one more specified point you can write now see if you take any molecule in this molecule okay now mutual exchange if you go for mutual exchange okay mutual exchange in a molecule always is readily produce a homomer it is also produce homomer mutual exchange is nothing but see if you take this is a and this is b and this is c and this is d okay now in this case i would like to write a mutual exchange mutual exchange is nothing but sharing groups now like this it is going to be exchange like this okay so if it is a mutually exchanges now here you will get like this this is b and this is a now c is occupies here and this is d okay so this is also shows a homomer okay not only mutual exchange between these two we can also go for one more mutual exchange a b c d now mutual exchange of these two also results the same factor now okay so suppose say mutual exchange of this position is keep on exchanges now this is d and this is a d and this is a now see this is c and b comes over here and you will get b okay even this is also one of the example for homomer okay so this is a first exchange and this is second case exchange towards right and below and this is towards left and this is below so two group exchange two group exchange only two groups are exchanging now see this is two group exchange with two adjacent opposite groups also exchanging so two two groups are keep on exchanging to give a relative isomer orientation so in that case also we need to predict its relative orientation of molecule so take one example for mutual exchange like this see this is cooh now this is ch3 and this is oh and this is h this is nothing but a lactic acid configuration for this one is r now go for mutual exchange now this is going to be exchanged over here and this is also going to be exchanged like this so whenever if you go for mutual exchange this is cooh cooh now here it is hydrogen and what is this this is ch3 and identify the configuration that is going to reflect as r i would like to see one this is two and this is three and this is four now see least to priority group is in vertical line so this is clockwise is completely belongs to r clockwise orientation is belongs to r so we can say this is completely a related term for homomer okay and we can also explain one more molecule which will related to this one okay so same molecule i would like to make a one more exchange which is completely towards left side like this see this is one more exchange now okay in this case of exchange here now here we are getting a homomer relation and here also now here you will get h cooh now this is ch3 and this is oh okay now we know that configuration for this one is r right now configuration for this one first priority second priority third priority and this is fourth priority now so for this one also configuration is found to be r so finally see we are going to say that if two group exchange in a molecule will give like this see now here r and r is going to be reflected so this is completely belongs to homomer r and r homomer here also r and r home so finally it is came to know that a rr configuration is homomer ss configuration result that is also homomer then finally see if rs configuration forms enantiomer sr also enantiomer if configuration of a molecule if it is reflected after mode of rotation that is nothing but homomer if it is inverted inverted means r to s s to r then that is nothing but a enantiomer so finally in fischer projection one of the best area to identify enantiomer diastereomer and homomer is after representing fischer projection every 90 rotation that will gives enantiomer every 180 rotation that is homomer and every two group exchange with one chiral center enantiomer and every two group exchange with more than one chiral center that is also going to give a diastereomer and every three group exchange and mutual exchange will give homomer okay so that is about the major part about fischer projection okay so and number of topics which are related to uh, newman projections and sahars projection water whatever the other projections are there they are completely depends only on fischer you should be very strong in fischer and you should be 
very updated with related to Fisher and Newman. Okay, why? Because if you are able to convert Fisher to Newman, nearly 90% of reactions you can work out very easily. Okay, thank you.